Welcome back with another series in Frequency with me, Charmaine. So basically, if you guys haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, which is the MC at RTP, please do so, okay? Because there will be more interesting videos that will be shared in this channel. So in this episode, I wanted to share my worst experience with you guys after I was diagnosed with a very rare disease in Malaysia. This year, around March, I was diagnosed with pancreatitis. When I first heard that from my doctor, I was like, oh my god, what is that? The main reason I have pancreatitis is because I have complications with my other abdomen organs, which is my liver and also my gallbladder. I have stones in my gallbladder and also I have fatty liver. Basically, these three organs are connected in my abdomen part, which is the digestive system. Before I was diagnosed with this pancreatitis disease, I had asthma, gastric and also good. I think that was a hint for me to take care of myself. But I took it casually. I don't think it's that bad. So I don't care. I'm not I'm not taking care of myself. I just eat what I think it's good. And yeah, I eat, I eat, I eat and also I don't exercise. And then I got diagnosed with this pancreatitis. After I was diagnosed with this disease, my life became horrible. Every month, I have to go to the hospital for an ultrasound procedure and also a blood test. That was my worst nightmare because I'm so, so scared with needles. Uh, I don't like it. I hate needles. My doctor will monitor my organs, which is my pancreas, gallbladder, and my liver through the blood test. And not to forget, I have to eat a lot types of medicine. I have for liver, I have for gallbladder, I have for gastric, I have for gut. Like, so many. I can't list down. So I think every day I have to be disciplined just to eat my medicine. As you can see here, this is my medicine. But this is just a few. There's a lot more. I can't show you because it's so so many. So I wanted to show you guys a tutorial how to eat your medicine properly. So first and foremost, obviously you guys have to have the, your pill. So and also a mineral water to swallow up your pill. Okay, so this is how I do it. You guys have to take the pill and put it in the back of your tongue. Okay, like this. This. Ta-da! It's gone. I know you guys might think I'm crazy because I just did a tutorial how to swallow a pill. Guys, little do you guys know, there's someone out there that is struggling so much to swallow a pill. I know a friend and also a few friends actually, they can't even swallow a pill and they even what? You guys didn't catch? They throw up. They throw up. Okay, so back to the story about me. I admitted to the hospital three times in this year and it's not even December yet. So it's crazy, right? The first time then this year, after I was diagnosed with pancreatitis, I admitted to the hospital and I went to the ICU for like a week. So what you can learn from my story experience is, you guys, please take care of yourself. Do not be like me. I cannot turn back time, but you guys can. Please take care of yourself, do your exercises, and please change your diet to a healthy way okay please do not be like me i can't believe you guys made it till the end but please guys take my advice seriously okay don't forget to hit the like button and click the subscribe to our channel that's all for me bye